Welcome to stage two of the FPV Truck Project. I'm Jim T. Graham with RC Groups. You are looking at the mighty Axial Wraith. You know, the Wraith is a great ready-to-run truck right out of the box. Some of the reasons I wanted it for this project was because they make FPV components for it. Not to mention lots of other aftermarket components for this truck. I did a lot of upgrades. Let's start out with the most important one, I think, the camera. If you look down the barrel, you'll see the GoPro Hero 3 Black. The field of view I really like is the wide angle view, which lets me shoot outside of the truck. I get the whole dashboard all the way to the top of the roof, which you'll see later in this video. The other piece to accommodate our GoPro Hero 3, we'll swing it around. I'm going to flash up a photo so you can see it individually in its components. But right here is a carbon fiber deck created for the Wraith by ReadyMade RC. And this has everything you need to run your GoPro, attach it to your Wraith. So I wanted to do a little close up on the deck made by ReadyMade RC. You can see my components that are living on the rear deck here. The RC Logger 5.8 video transmitter is just Velcroed on. I have upgraded to an IB Crazy Blue Beam omnidirectional antenna, which is something it's a must pretty much you need to get rid of the rubber ducky and move to this um, I also have flipped this around so the antenna isn't near this metal surface and I am now running a strap you could use a zip tie but I'm using a velcro strap to hold this to the frame because I found as I was bouncing around the antenna would shake and when it would shake it would affect my signal coming into my goggles the question I get a lot is, how do I get my GoPro into my RC Logger Pro? Well, RC Logger makes this cable, and if you go to the RC Logger website, you can find it under the Accessories tab for the transmitter. This just goes into the USB of the GoPro and then into the 5.8 transmitter. You'll notice that the battery for the truck isn't in the battery tray, but I have some other components. A big mod for this vehicle is to take your receiver and your... Uh, ESC and move it to the back of the truck which I did the other thing that I thought was very tricky is I was pulling power out of the receiver and going into the video transmitter but when I started running this around the backyard I noticed that I was having a lot of interference I also did some research and found that people are moving their receivers and transmitters apart because that creates interference as well so here was my solution I left the ESC, you can kind of see it right there. So the ESC is living there, and then I got a BEC, this is what I was originally running, and a three cell LiPo, you don't need such a giant LiPo, this is just what fits. And so I'm running uh, power to the transmitter independently from the truck. And that, once again, is to keep the signal clean. And then I took the receiver for the truck and moved it under the hood. So you can see that I now have a way to run a battery up front, which is a great uh, way to get weight over the front tires. And this comes in handy when you're climbing up a steep hill. And I do have bigger batteries on the way, more capacity, longer run times, and more weight. This is usually in an airplane, you're trying to go lighter. But on this thing, the, the weight is something I'm shooting for. And then right here, you can see the receiver case. And so I moved it under the dash because I needed this area. If you look at this, you'll see that uh, this is just a piece of plastic and I cut the base. And that allowed me to push this up. And then I slid this on the driver's side, zip tied it in, and you are ready to roll. You can see my aluminum hood, and we'll talk about who made this hood and all the aluminum panels on the truck. There's Terry. Uh, I put magnets on this just because now my battery's under the hood and you want to be able to access that quickly and easily. The main reason I uh, went with aluminum was this one piece on the roof. Advanced Metal Fab makes all these pieces and we'll go over those. But uh, this is their roof for the GoPro. So it adds height, it takes out that roll bar, which not only was in my shot, it actually was hanging down even farther in the front. I wanted to totally get rid of that. This allows me to do that, gives me some added height, and also uh, gives the frame rigidity. 
you flip it around, you can see the other great part about this roof. There's a mount for a GoPro right there. So uh, what it's meant to be and is to uh, have that on the front. It's in the back to keep it from being in the shot the way I'm running this GoPro now. But I'm thinking for future FPV adventures, this GoPro will mount up here and be on the front of the truck. So while I can see the stock dash or the, the uh, scale dash, which looks very cool, um, ultimately what I'll see is the hood and the front tires and everything else when I mount it to this. So let's talk more about what I received from Advanced Metal Fab. When they sent me the roof, they sent me the side panels, which look great, the hood, which you've seen, and also a belly panel and differential units to protect the differential. So my question was, do I really need that? Am I really bashing around like that? When I went to install the belly pan and the differential pieces, I noticed that I really had been bashing them into things and I didn't even know it. So while I'm just the short amount of time I've been on the trail, I definitely could have used these. They look great. They kind of set the truck apart. Easy to put on, easy to take off. This rear unit has a hook on it. So you could pull a trailer or whatever it is you might do with a hook back there. You have it. This would replace your stock roof and uh, look pretty awesome doing it. Now, when you roll it and, and turn it over, you're going to get some scratches, but these still look pretty decent even when they're scratched up. This is the one I really like. This is a bikini top. So you'd pull your stock roof off and put the bikini top on, which would allow you access to the back, which is where I would keep everything. The other idea I had on this, if I didn't have that antenna sticking out there, was to create a little secondary uh, deck on the back, which I could carry things on. Which I may still do, because it looks too, too cool not to do. And then one more thing that I haven't utilized, and once again, I, I called them up and I said, hey, I'm into this roof, and they sent me these pieces to go ahead and put on the truck, and that is this shock mount. And so, you get a bag full of supplies with the shock mount, and what it allows you to do is jack your truck up, or lower your truck, um, for FPV, I would want to go lower to keep from rolling this thing over. And to do that, this mount has to protrude up. And while I think I could get away with it in the back, I do not think I could get away with it in the front. I'd have to cut the hood. So I'm just not there yet. But these are available. Once again, Advanced Metal Fab made all these products. And then let's recap the truck before we move to the final phase of this Stage 2. And so we have a ready-made RC deck, GoPro camera, RC logger transmitter, and the advanced metal fab body panels. So the next part of stage two was I left the LCD screen behind and moved into a goggle. Why a goggle? Why not a goggle? How could you not get goggles and live in the immersive world of uh, FPV? It's like you're in the cab of a full scale truck busting down the road. It's awesome. These are sky zone goggles. Uh, Fox Tech provided these to me for a review, and I think they're great goggles. They have the external camera, which is a revolutionary idea. The FOV of this is pretty wide, so it does allow you to hit the button and see what's going on around you without pulling your goggles up. But um, everything seems kind of stretched, and it's a little tricky to manipulate things close up. It has all the buttons you need to change channels, volume, bands, external camera here and then uh, one other cool thing about these goggles is it has an integrated head tracking and I'm, I've got a uh, pan and tilt camera on the way just for that we're gonna see if I can get it on the truck and then we have AV in AV out so you can go out to a screen a monitor um, earphones out so you can hear your truck when it's very far away from you and then you can adjust the eyepieces for your eyes. The other thing I did is I modded some motorcycle goggles to mount the Sky Zone goggles in. And this was strictly for comfort. As you can see, it has a lot of extra padding. And I can slide it up and down my head. The next phase of this is the antennas. A very important aspect of your FPV gear. You can have a high watt uh, transmitter, video transmitter. But unless you have great antennas, you're not going to get the be very best signal that you can get. Uh, since these goggles have diversity, that means it has two receivers, and it's always looking for the best signal. And if you had two of the same antennas, it would be redundant. And what we're looking at here is the uh, Bluebeam Omnidirectional, which is very uh, robust in looking for a signal. 
This is a five line helical, which is more of a directional antenna. And between the two, you can usually grab a great signal. So there you have it, stage two of the FPV truck. The only thing left to do now is to jump out on the trail and bust some brush.